Here we have a DC motor and it's operated from 12 volt battery and under normal load it draws 4.66 amps. Um, but when you clamp it in place so that it can't turn, it draws a higher amperage of 4.96 amps. Uh, and the question is, what is the back EMF when the motor is operating normally? All right, you got to remember the EMF induced um, by a changing magnetic field opposes the change, um, and which is why you get a back EMF, basically an EMF that tries to cancel out the voltage driving this. Well, if we look at 12 volts, the armature is clamped, clamped in place, right? So we can use Ohm's law to figure out the resistance, right? R is just going to be the 12 volts divided by the, um, the current when it's clamped, right? So we know the resistance of the armature. The resistance doesn't change when we let it rotate, but the back EMF does, right? The back EMF, um, the back EMF makes a significant difference. And so I, right, is going to be V minus the back EMF, right, divided by R. And so from this, you know the reduced I when you let it rotate. And you can just solve this for the back EMF. And you're going to get, um, what are you going to get here? IR is V minus uh, E, so uh, E back EMF, right? It's just going to be V minus IR. And so now you know the magnitude of the back EMF when you've got this motor running. And that's it for this problem.